Good morning from Milan, or should I say, Buongiorno! Buongiorno! Okay, <laughs> so yes, I finally made it to Italy. If you guys saw my last video, you know that it was kind of a fiasco to get here, but I landed yesterday, finally reunited with my boyfriend after seven months. Yesterday, we walked a ton. We just like hit the ground running, walked like 20,000 steps, had like the best pizza of my life. And yeah, we just got to like walk around Milan, see all the architecture and the buildings. It's so beautiful. It's my first time in Europe ever. So yeah, now we're gonna head out and I guess show you around Milan. first sightseeing spot of the day was none other than Duomo. You can't visit Milan without seeing Duomo. It's one of the main attractions here and right in the city center. There are over 3,000 statues that decorate Duomo and they are all life-size. I also got this footage later in the afternoon that day because the sun was hitting perfectly. This is one of the largest cathedrals in the world and it took over 600 years to complete. We didn't go inside because the ticket line was really long and we didn't want to wait in the heat. But it was still really fun hanging outside, seeing all the tourists, and of course hanging out with the iconic pigeons here. And in the same square is the famous Galleria. It is the oldest active shopping mall in Italy and it's downright gorgeous. It screams you can't afford me vibes, but it's still really fun walking through and pretending I'm a rich bitch. Also, I noticed a lot of people were spinning their heels on the crotch of this bowl tile art. And my bubby told me that there is a legend that if you spin around three times, it will bring you good fortune. So obviously I had to try it out for myself, but now looking at the footage, I definitely did not do three full spins, which now probably explains my lack of good fortune. I only have myself to blame. Duomo and went through the Galleria and now we're going to how do we pronounce it? Casa los Forceschi. What he said. <laughs>
Coco I've ever seen in my life. Okay, we're back out on the town. We had to go back to our hotel because I sweat through my shirt, <laughs> so I had to shower. But now we're on our way to get some food, get a little dinner, and maybe get some dessert afterwards. So for dinner, we ate at this really cute spot called Bee Cafe. It was my first time partaking in the Italian tradition of aperitivo, which is essentially a pre-dinner drink and light meal. But we felt full enough that we just made this our main meal for the night. And not to be dramatic, but these were some of the best cocktails I have had in a while. I love this one. p.m. and it is this bright outside what hey guys so what you just watched right now was my first two days in Italy and after our Milan trip I flew back to my boyfriend's hometown here in southern Italy where I've been staying and where I'm filming right now but more recently we actually took a three-day trip to Rome and originally I was gonna make a whole separate vlog for Milan and Rome but because I had so little time in Rome I actually didn't get as much footage as I was expecting also I just didn't want to be too distracted with vlogging while I was there I really wanted to absorb everything I was seeing and being really present in the moment but nonetheless I did get some footage so I thought I'd just add it on to this one kind of make it like a bonus mini vlog if you will so without further ado here is my Lizzie McGuire fantasy realness in Rome <laughs> So the adventure to Rome begins here at the train station in my boyfriend's hometown. The flight to Rome would only be about an hour or so, but if we also accounted for the time to get to the airport and arriving two hours early, it would actually take the same amount of time just traveling by train. Plus, we wouldn't have to deal with all the airport hassle, and I was really excited to see what it was like to take the train in Italy. Also, his mom is an absolute saint and made us some egg and mozzarella panini for the ride, and they were so good just like everything else she cooks <laughs> and the ride was really beautiful it gave me a chance to see a different side of Italy and appreciate the countryside So really quickly, here is a little peek of our hotel room. Waking up in Rome with this view was surreal. So our first full day in Rome was absolutely packed and we were out and about sightseeing all day. So our hotel was actually pretty close to the Vatican, so naturally that is where we started our walking tour. We just walked through it this day, but we actually went inside the following day and I have footage for that, so don't you worry. Through the Vatican, we started to enter the central part of Rome and oh my god. As an American, I'm not used to being surrounded by this much art, this much beauty, and this much history. All of Rome is like walking through a museum and it was just breathtaking. And I'm sure that that can go without saying because the clips can probably speak for themselves. 
Also, I noticed that there are a lot of stands for shopping and souvenirs, and this one in particular had a lot of books. I was really drawn to the beautiful cover art of all of these. And like in Milan, it was extremely hot in Rome, so we had to take a lot of breaks. And luckily in Rome, there was no shortage of gorgeous Catholic churches. We stumbled upon this one and we went inside and we were able to cool down and appreciate some of the stunning artwork at the same time. It's a truly heavenly experience. Haha, <laughs> get it? Okay. <laughs> Anyway, after our break, we kept on with our walking tour, and y'all, I finally had my Lizzie McGuire moment! Isabella? Huh? And after the Trevi Fountain, we saw the Roman Forum, and normally I would want to walk through, but it looked like it was scorching hot down there. <laughs> And by some miracle, we walked all the way to the Colosseum, but at this point, I was a human puddle. Your girl was just drenched in sweat. But anyway, like I said, the next day, we actually went into the Vatican, and y'all, this was one of the highlights of the trip. You could just spend hours in here because every single corner was filled to the brim with art. The amount of detail put into every little crevice was just overwhelming. The footage can't even fully capture the beauty of everything. I surprisingly took more photos than I did of video footage while I was in there. But anyway, that was my short and sweet trip to Rome. So thank you guys so much for watching my trip to Milan and Rome. I hope you guys enjoyed. And you guys, dare I say, I might actually like Southern Italy the most. So get ready for some Southern Italy vlogs. We've been taking a lot of fun day trips. Also, my boyfriend's hometown is just so cute. So until next time, ciao bellas. Okay, bye.